Hello and welcome back to Rivo Tech. Today I'm reviewing this Chromecast Ultra with Google TV. Just going to unbox it, go through the setup and then see if it's worth your money. If you like the video, drop a like on it. If you really like it, subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, let's get it unboxed. So this side we've got the Chromecast of Google TV. Nice little white bag. Oh, it's not bigger than I thought it'd be. It looks very nice and clean and modern looking. And then this side we've got remote control. Again, a nice little white bag. It's quite nice. YouTube button, Netflix button, power back, I presume that is. Google Assistant, mute, home and back. That must be exit then. And this will be directional buttons. And enter. Got a USB A to USB C cable and we've got the power brick which is 6 volt and 1.5 amps don't know if you can see that you might be able to you might not all right i'm going to set it up and let's see what it's like there's also some nice white batteries that come in there as well for the controller and do just notice that the controller has got volume buttons on it all right so now we're going to set it up i've got it all plugged into the tv using the power source that come with the chromecast ultra with google tv just going to call it google tv because that name's long. So let's see how easy or hard the setup process is. Just an extra note, I do use a soundbar. So I think that should work fine. We'll see. And turn the TV on. All right, so first up, we've got to pair it. So on the Google remote, back button and the home button. All right, that's paired. Obviously we'll go English United Kingdom. All right, so Google Home app. Open that up on the phone. Obviously, make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network. Comes up as, I presume, set up Chromecast. A little QR code. Select your home address. Do I need to scan the code or not? Yep. There you go, scan QR code. Not leave my wire in the way. All right, so follow the instruction in the app. Let's connect into Chromecast. Connected. Accept. All right, so this is in the living room. All right, living room Google TV, that will do. Uh, we'll connect to 5G, might as well, because the route is right there, so signal should be bang on. All right, so sign with your Google account. So verify that it's me, yeah. Fingerprint. Just agree to all that. Well, accept. So the Google Assistant. So search across all your TV apps. To do this, allow Google to share your request with TV apps. Yeah, why not? Might as well get the full experience. Right, voice match, that should already be set up. Yep, your assistant can already recognize your voice. You should do, I've got about a million Google products there. No, I don't need that because I've got it on my other account that I'll sign into. So subscriptions, got Netflix, YouTube, YouTube Music, Spotify, and Prime. That's it. So next, we'll just do Art Gallery. Yep, continue. Setup here is finished. Complete setup on TV screen with remote. Okay. All right, so now setting the rest up with the remote. Uh, control your volume and power with your Chromecast remote. Set up remote. Uh, to set up volume controls, choose what you'll use to play sound. So soundbar, the so brand of soundbar is Panasonic. And scroll all the way down to P and Panasonic. You'll hear music next. The volume should be up. Yep, that works. Uh, set up the power button, choose your TV brand. It is a Toshiba. I didn't know there was this many TV brands, to be honest. Uh, Toshiba. Press the power button once. The TV should turn off. Wait at least eight, eight seconds and then turn it on again. That doesn't turn off. I'm going to use my TV remote back to the HDMI. So, no, the power button didn't work. So, oh, it's trying different codes. So, two out of 12. Uh, nope. <laughs> ah. That's how it worked. Hopefully it turns back on. 
So that's pretty cool. You can turn that. That is cool. I like that. So it uses different codes for obviously different TVs. And it looks like pretty much every TV supported. So yes, it did work. So your Chromecast remote is set up. Yeah. Installing apps. I do really like how you can, you can pretty much just use this then. Because if the volume works for the soundbar, power button works for the TV, and it will go straight onto your Google TV, well, my TV does it anyway, so I presume most TVs will do that. Plus, this controller is just nice. I like having, I like white tech things. Like, if there's a white or black version of a phone, I'd always go for the white one. I just think it looks a bit more modernish. Talking about liking white tech, I'm considering spraying my computer white. Currently, black, so. I might do that. Let me know if you want me to do it and I'll do a tutorial as well. It's taking quite a long time to install apps. Surely the app should be pre-installed. Your Chromecast with Google TV is ready. So these are all on Prime Video. Oh no, they're not. Oh, these are top picks for me. Oh, okay, I like that. So you got everything mashed together in one. So that's on Prime Video. That's on BBC iPlayer. That's on Netflix. I like that, that's cool. I think they're just ones that I've actually picked that I've got subscriptions to. Obviously, if you've got subscriptions to Disney Plus and whatever, I presume they'll be on there as well. Uh, your apps are so pre installed. You've got Netflix, YouTube, BBC, trending on Google. I think that's on Google TV. Crime shows, comedies, sci fi's, YouTube. They're obviously Linus Tech Tips. Right, so we're going to sign into Netflix and YouTube and everything, and I'll get back to you. All right, so I've gone to sign into YouTube and I've got YouTube Premium on my Bribo Tech account, but it's only coming up with this account, which is the one I use for all my smart home and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have to go back home and my guess is you have to add an account to the actual TV, well, to the actual Chromecast. Uh, accounts and sign in. Yeah, add another account and I'll sign in. All right, yeah, so that works. As you can see, now I'm signed in from my Bribo Tech account. That works very snappy as well. Loads all the thumbnails instantly. Obviously, it helps to have good internet as well, but it's also props to the processing of it. Now, let's go back home. So, Netflix, now I'm signed in. Watch how quick this loads an episode, considering we're still in the home screen at the minute of the Google TV. So it, it's so much quicker than going to the actual Netflix app, then launching it. And it's a million times quicker than the app I used to use that's built into the TV. Just to load one episode, that took a few, like, 10 seconds maybe. This is pretty much instant. And that's going from the home screen. Before I had to press the Netflix button on the controller, wait for that to load. Pick which account I wanted. Wait for that to load. Pick an episode. Wait for that to load. So yeah, now it's all on here. It's going to just save me a lot of time for one. And it's really nice that you can just continue watching straight from the uh, home screen. So that's a few movies, movies from all the different suppliers. So these are, oh, so anything that's got a padlock is obviously something that you're not subscribed to yet. So if we just go on this lockdown, see where it's from. We've got trailer, rent. I'm not sure where it's from. We press rent. Oh, so that is from buying it from Google Play. So it's in the top right, left hand corner, which I don't know why anyone would rent a film for £16. Maybe buy it, but that's that's steep. Yeah, so then that one's from Prime Video because I've got a subscription to that. It's just free, it's there. So trending on Google, so that's obviously from Google Play. Well, no, it's not because it's got Netflix there as well. So it must be trending on Google TVs, I presume. Uh, right, next category shows. Same thing, but TV shows instead of films. Uh, apps. You got all your TV apps. Apps are installed. You can search. Obviously using the Google Assistant. Oh, so you can get games on here as well. So that's real racing. Oh, so these are apps that I've got on my other devices, obviously, as it says. That's quite cool. Featured apps. You can get TikTok. Hey, you can watch TikTok on a massive screen. Well, depending on how big your TV is. It's probably bigger than your phone, though, isn't it? Um, recommended. So you got Plex as well. But remember, you can sideload apps to this as well. So you, you can actually do a hell of a lot with the Google TV. If you get a dongle to plug into the USB-C port, you can plug in hard drives. Obviously, if it's got memory card slots, you can put them in. Uh, wired game controllers. 
Uh, you can also connect from Bluetooth game controllers because you can get Stadia on here. Not supported at the minute, but you can sideload it. Uh, there's quite a lot of games on here. Um, so we'll see what what the game performance is like in another video. Apparently it's very good for emulation. So we'll put like the PS1 emulator and see what it performs like. Maybe PSP, I don't know. Depends on how good the processor is. Uh, and last one's library. So Fast and Furious, I bought that quite a long time ago. And it's quite nice that it keeps it all in one little folder. It's the only film or the TV program I've ever bought off Google Play, but yeah, it's nice that it's there. Keeps it a bit separate. So let's try the assistant. It's, I don't know. I tried searching Robotech, it didn't work. It, come on, Robotech. Uh, Linus Tech Tips. So obviously that should find Linus Tech Tips on YouTube. Yeah, so it's come with the channel and some videos. It's got some random things to watch at the bottom. Um, let's try some on Netflix. Watching at the minute, Death in Paradise, we'll try that. Death in Paradise. Oh, so that's nice. So you can watch it on BBC. Three ways to watch. Press that. That's cool. So you pick where you want to watch it. So if you've only got a subscription to say, uh, pretend you had to pay for BBC iPlayer, then you could watch it on the one. Obviously, if you haven't got a subscription to Netflix, then you golden. That comes up with all the cast and crew, so you got little bits of information as well, and then related stuff. Yeah, my final thoughts and first impressions. The setup wasn't too bad. It's slightly lengthy, but obviously you only have to do it once, so it's not the end of the world. The interface is nice, it's clean. It's very fast and snappy, as you can see. Uh, I can't wait to sideload apps. That's where the fun starts. You get to do a bit extra stuff. And I'm interested to see, will it slow it down if I start putting sideloaded apps on? But hopefully it doesn't. I'm not sure why anyone would ever buy a Chromecast again, because this is £60. Chromecasts are like 40 to 50 Obviously, they'll, well, for an Ultra anyway. Obviously, they'll probably come down in price, I would guess, because this is a Chromecast with also Google TV built in, which is really useful. As I said, it, with Netflix, it's so much faster than the app that was already built into the TV. It's crazy. The star of the show, for me, is this controller. I think they've done it really well. It's got just the buttons you need on it. And then added bonus, you can turn your TV on and off of it. It can control my soundbar. It's pretty much perfect. I don't really need another controller unless I want to watch live TV or change the HDMI source. So yeah, final conclusions, go and buy one because it's, it's just brilliant. <laughs> That's without even siloing apps onto it. All right, thank you for watching. If you're looking for another video to watch, Check out my channel, because I guarantee there'll be something you like. If you like the video, drop a like on it. If you really liked it, get subscribed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.